How are you tonight? Oh, you dropped the toy. I'm good. I'm, uh, as you can probably see in my background here, like super duper packing. Yes. For my move in a few weeks. You're and, moving uh, to Nijoisy. To Joisy. And I'm 38 now. Happy birthday, Tara. Thanks. I'm super deluxe old. Could you stop knocking you, the I'm 38. Thanks. She's like, if you're not going to play with me, I'm just going to knock the toy on the floor then. Super huh. deluxe old. I'm, I'm 38. We are super deluxe old, too. My nephew asked me how old I was turning, and I told him, and he looked at me like he couldn't even conceive of that number. He's like, I'm nine. I'm, like, yeah. <laughs> I'm nine. I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm 38. Thanks, kid. I thought you were in your 20s. Oh, bless you. You're kind. No, I'm pushing 40. Uh... And, Bridget, uh, on the other hand, is only one. And yet she upstages both of us on a regular basis. Well, yeah, she's she's a lot cuter than me. Aren't you? Yes, you are. She's active as shit tonight. Yeah. So how are you? Besides the terrifying hacking. Why is it terrifying? I'm I'm still getting over the sick. That's why con flus are just fucking awful. The cough is usually what lingers with me. I got sick once and I felt fine, but had like a terrible hacking cough. Ah! You wake up in the morning and you feel like your lungs are, are like, we're done. We're leaving. There's there's lasagna in the oven. You'll be hearing from our lawyer. They're 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 officially done with your shit. Yeah. So we have some interesting stuff tonight. We have some, I guess, a little bit of consumer stuff tonight, stupid stuff tonight, and our last story. Guys, don't go leave before the last story. This is one of those, I love you, you're immediately like, tell me more. I'm in. This is one of those stories that I painstakingly looked up because I, I wanted this one to be true. I found multiple sources on it. I checked and double checked. This actually happened, and I'm like, fuck yes. This is brilliant. Okay. But uh first off, let's 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 get our uh intro going here. Just <laughs> cat taunting. <laughs> That's the new we're we're not we're not even even doing the news anymore. We're just taunting. Yeah, let's just cats. not bother. Let's just play with Bridget. Let's just play with the cat. She gets so mad when I stop playing. She's like Each week Catherine, the Radio Dead Air audience go out on the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible shit. Bring it back here for a little sudden subject we like to call What's wrong with you segment. I can't talk. Okay, so so we're gonna start tonight with uh, you're moving, and Dan mm -hmm. is Dan, has Dan got the new place set up yet? Uh, he is getting there this week. One of the things you have to do. Hopefully, his stuff is also getting there this week. Who do you have for cable? I don't know actually. But one of the things you have to do when you move, which is always so much fun is arrange for your internet telecommunication services to be there when you arrive. And uh, dealing with them is not such a pleasurable experience. Um, this These past few weeks, uh, Ars Technica has been uh, doing a little bit of a story because it comes to find out, uh, while we don't think much of them, they don't seem to think very much of us either. Customer says she got bill addressed to super bitch. Wow. We wow. found out her secret identity. <laughs> that would be the best superhero ever. Da, 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 super bitch. Mary Bauer of Addison, Illinois, is like many people, a frustrated Com Com Comcast customer. Her, table her cable TV service continually kept shutting off. She says, 
39 Comcast technicians visited her home over several months trying to fix the problem. Then she stopped receiving her monthly bill. For four months without a bill, she called Comcast to ask how much she owed. A new bill was sent, but not to Mary Bauer. Instead, the bill was addressed to Super Bitch Bauer. And this is not the only thing. Um, uh, last week, Comcast wrote about a customer whose name was changed to Asshole Brown. I did see that. On yeah. a bill. Asshole. I have trouble. Like, I really never had trouble with Comcast when I had them in Connecticut. I didn't even have trouble shutting them off. Like, I called to cancel my service, and everybody told me how bad they were going to be. And they were like, why are you canceling your service? And I said, well... I'm moving out of your service area and they were okay well it's just i have had issues with them M mainly because i i tend to actually know what i'm doing with the internet and they don't like that because they they, they would prefer that i not understand i mean i've i've not i've heard many many people say that They've had terrible experiences with them, and obviously I've read the stories, and Consumerist elects them like worst company in America, pretty much on an alternating spectrum with EA. Like, well, there's, I just got lucky. There's two scenarios here. Either number one, these people don't really give a shit about their jobs because it's not hard to find out who changed the information? Because when you work in a call center, they log all of that shit. If you make a change to a record, there's a little note that's with your login that you made the change, so they find out who did it. Either number one, these people just don't care about their fucking job, which that says quite a bit about the job itself. Or two, there's a corporate atmosphere around Comcast that People can do this, and they just won't, they'll like, eh, whatever. Well, I know they're supposed to do everything in their power to stop you from canceling your service, supposedly. Yes. Yeah. Like, the, the, it's right walking up to the line of actually, like, harassing you. Like, yeah, the, the, the mentality behind their training is not so much to help you, but to retain you. Yeah. Which, quite often doesn't help you so it's not so much customer service as customer purgatory yeah they do just enough to keep you from packing your bags and walking out on them although here is an interesting like just when you're about to leave them for the younger cuter guy they buy you some flowers <laughs> yeah like would you like a discount would you like free HBO? Yeah. Although I, I do want to point out I, I, this kind of, if the bill is addressed to super bitch Bauer and not to Mary Bauer. Do you have to pay it? Exactly. Cause she is not on any of her legal documents. Yeah. Super bitch Bauer. She is Mary Bauer. So they can't say who are they gonna collect from? Is Super Bitch there? No, she's not. She's out saving the day. She calls in my lifetime. That would be a fun collection call to get. Yeah, I'd like to speak to yeah, asshole like Brown. To Super Bitch. I, I'm, I'm now. <laughs> computer wrote it. I'm sorry, but Super Bitch doesn't live here. You ain't getting your money. But this, it's not just Comcast that's having some uh, issues with their customer service, and it's not just ordinary people. Um, I remember early on doing this, one of the weirdest experiences I had was I ordered a pizza from Domino's, and the pizza guy shows up and goes, Holy shit, you're Nash! And I went, Oh, you know who I am. Really? And I got a little scared. Did you tip him well? Yes. Okay, good. Well, I always do. Because, you know. Always over tip. I always do that. Well, I'm not I'm not nearly as famous as the person who had pizza people trouble in our next story. 
Um, Iggy Azalea <coughs> text Papa John on Twitter after Driver hands out her number. While, oh. while you were watching the Grammys last night, something far more important was brewing on Twitter. Well before the award show even began, Iggy Azalea was uh, beefing with brands. Oh, God. Verge, really? Pizza brands, actually. According to the fancy performer, a Papa John's driver had handed her a phone, her phone, personal phone number off to his family members. Naturally, she was upset. She got this text message. Hello, is this Iggy Azalea? My brother had delivered something from Papa John's to you, and he gave me the number on Friday night. I am your number one fan. Please call back. Is this you? Please answer. You are my idol. Wow, well, that's not okay. Um, let's see. Now, she tweeted this to Papa John's. And Papa John's... Instead of saying we we don't accept this service, we'll 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 we, we this is not acceptable from our drivers. We'll take care of this right away. Their response was, "We should have known better. Customer and employee privacy is important to us. Please don't bounce us." Okay. See, yeah, that's not that's not cool. Yeah, Iggy was That's not, not okay. Yeah, you know, try try to trying to make references to her work to make things happier. She didn't. She, her response was, "I don't think data breach is funny. I expect you to contact me. Explain how you're going to rectify your breach." That's that's not a situation that's going to be diffused by humor. <laughs> Did, Although I do wonder if she's so fancy, as we already know, why the fuck is she ordering from Papa John's? <laughs> That is the worst pizza. <laughs> it's like flavorless foam <laughs> with cheese on it. <laughs> I love how you always just get to the heart of the issue. It's shitty pizza, man. <laughs> like, not that not that you deserve this, because you certainly didn't deserve no, this, but, but you should eat better pizza. You should pizza. yeah, you could you could afford better pizza. You can afford better pizza. You deserve better pizza. But really, it's it's the person running the Papa John's Twitter. No, the nineteen-year-old intern. Yes, on Twitter. Yes, no. Because let's be honest, this is this is a common thing with the uh, with with corporate social media. They handle everything badly. Well, like, do you feel like, I guess this is the kind of thing I never think about. Like, and it, why would you? Why would you think about how famous people order fucking pizza? <laughs> Imagine like, having to get a burner just to order pizza. Right. That's what I'm thinking. Like, do you think any stars actually do have like a fucking burner phone that they just use to order pizza so that people won't bother them? It shouldn't have to get to that point. Or like get other have hire people to order pizza for you. Yeah. And answer the door for so you could get your pizza. <laughs> Leave me the fuck alone. Like you should be able to just get a fucking pizza without being harassed about it. No, you're being a little kitty now. No one's playing with you. Okay. Uh, all right. Now that's fucked up though, and that is not okay that they're trying to be cute about it. No. That's not cute. No. And their owner's an asshole. Yes, Papa. Yeah, the it's, owner. It's terrible. The owner of Papa John's is 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 an unrepentant. I can't raise bag. my workers' wages. I would have to raise the cost of my pizza. I live on a fifty million dollar estate. I don't know if that's the actual figure, but he lives on a fucking theme park. And he's like, I can't play my workers a living wage. Well, let's move on to some actual stupidity this week. I, I'm not sure who was the idiot here. That's that's the thing. Although I do love where it happened because that that kind of just what some that beautiful serendipity. Man picked up by garbage collectors while dumpster diving in Yolo County. I didn't know there was a Yolo there County. There is a Yolo County, California. Wow. Um 
A man searching for his wallet in a trash bin in Northern California. Everybody there is probably so pissed off. <laughs> Yo, no, shut the fuck up. Shut up. <sighs> man searching for his wallet in a trash bin in Northern California was scooped up by a garbage trucks and taken on a long ride. The man survived the ride in the rear of the truck. His name was not released. County Sheriff's uh, Lieutenant Martin Torres said the man got stuck in the trash truck when they made a pickup on Tuesday. The truck was headed to a to a landfill. Torres said the Don't man. Don't those have compactors in them? Yeah. The, the authorities said the man told police he used lumber in the truck to reach the top of the garbage pile and avoid the compactor. Yeah, because that will kill you. Do not get in a dumpster. Dumpster diving does not mean literally diving into a dumpster. That's not what it means. You know, if my wallet fell into a dumpster, first of all, what the fuck happened? How how did you get in this situation? Well, maybe you were doing one of those really cool things where you jump out the window using the garbage in the dumpster to break your fall and your wallet broke, your wallet fell out of your pocket while you were running from the ninjas. <laughs> Happens Why? to me all the time. Where did the ninjas come from? Why else would you be jumping out a window into a dumpster? Okay, that I I can't argue with that. Exactly. But if if my if my wallet somehow managed to end up in a dumpster, my my first thought would be I'm getting a couple of coat hangers, and I'm constructing some sort of rudimentary gripping system to retrieve. I'm not getting in the dumpster! I'm not... That's not a place you want to be! Plus, I feel like garbage trucks are pretty loud. Yes. You're gonna hear that coming. Huh. What's that? Grumbling, I probably have mumbling. time to exit. Well, though, I gotta feel... Getting out of a dumpster's gotta be pretty hard. <laughs> Which is why you don't get, don't get in the dumpster. Don't do that shit. If at all possible, you should avoid getting in the dumpster. Yes. Yes. Unsanitary. It's not just unsanitary. Do you think, the thing they like wiped down random New York City subway cars for bacteria and found like anthrax and bubonic plague and some organisms they couldn't even identify? <laughs> Literally, they found shit they couldn't even identify. Just like taking random samples off New York subway cars. So they found, wait, they found hipster germs? They found, I found germs you haven't even heard of. Yeah. Hipster germs. They said they had trouble identifying them because of the little horn room glasses on all the cells. <laughs> and then they're like, but look, it's all, it's all in such minute amounts. The subway's totally safe, you guys. Totally safe. We found, like, only a gallon of anthrax throughout the whole system. It's just the one. And you're like, isn't a little anthrax really enough? Uh, so, are you familiar with the term um, helicopter parent? Oh, yeah. That is, the, that, that, that's, that's a, a classic term for a parent who will hover over their child's life and activities and, and be involved in them. Your mommy goes on your job interview with you. Yeah. Well, for, for all you youngsters watching, that's pretty much a guarantee that you're never going to get a job. And we'll be living in mommy's basement forever. If mommy yes. goes on your job interview with you, you're not. You're not getting. You're not getting that job. It's not happening. Well, this this helicopter parrot was apparently um, threatening an airstrike. Woman threatens to bomb high school after daughter fails exam. Emerson Hill, a woman threatened to blow up a high school. She found out her daughter failed a regents exam. Uh, on Tuesday, a guidance counselor who works at Susan Wagner High School on Staten Island called Karen Sheeran, 48, around 9 a.m., and said her daughter had failed a regents exam. When Sharon heard the news, she told the counselor, quote, I am going to blow up the school. Do you know what a regent's exam is? No. I think only New York and California are on the regent system. In New York State, for certain classes at the end of the year, you have to take what's called a regent's exam. Mm. It's a comprehensive exam of the topic at hand. 
And if you don't pass it, even if you got an A plus in the class, you don't pass that class. Okay. And you have to have a required, you have to have a minimum number of Regents exams in order to graduate high school. So they're a big deal. That said. That said. Proportionate. You can retake them as many times as you want. Though. Like, if you punt it, you can retake it. There are many phrases you can use to express your dissatisfaction in many circumstances. The one phrase you should never, under any circumstance, ever use is, I am going to blow up the school. It's only funny when Milton from Office Space does it. I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna build I'm, gonna, the I'm gonna burn down the building. I move my desk one more time. I'm gonna I'm gonna burn down the building. It's not it's funny when he does it. Not not when you do it. Because right. they they don't when you say the words bomb and school, there's like the NSA just wakes the fuck up. Yeah, shit kicks in the high heat. They're they're off their coffee break. They're like, what? What? What do they say? What? 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 It's like, you know, Janine and Ghostbusters. We got one! And here's the thing, like, uh, maybe your kid flunked that test because your kid didn't study. And that has nothing to do with anybody at the school. Like, the chances are yeah. that the reason your kid failed that test is your kid's fault. There are two options here. Either there's a conspiracy against your child to keep her from passing AP Algebra, or maybe your kids fuck it up. Which is more likely, do you think? Yeah. Like, do you think? my nephew who I live with, I was babysitting today because he had no school for snow. He had to write two paragraphs and do five pages of vocabulary. I think I would have had an easier time negotiating peace in the least <laughs> than I did getting this kid to do his fucking homework. And I love this little boy. He's a wonderful child. But holy crap. Two five paragraphs. Hours. Five hours we spent. Five? Paragraphs. Wait, wait. Two paragraphs? And five pages of vocabulary. If I am remembering correctly, because I was an English major, if I am remembering correctly, the prerequisite for a paragraph is at least five sentences... Three hours to do two paragraphs. Ten sentences. Yeah. Actually, it was only eight. Like, he didn't even have to do... Oh, so he had, like, paragraph light. Yeah. This kid hates his grammar homework. Hates it. <laughs> so, like, if that kid goes and fails his grammar test, my sister's not going to go and yell at the school. She's going to be like, I know you never do your fucking grammar homework. I'm just imagining him writing the can I be done? It's killing me. That's it's pretty much now. Exactly. Now. now he accidentally drew all over his homework. That's <laughs> why. That would that's not helping you. That's not making you go by any faster. I was like, I'm like texting him. I'm like, <laughs> I love this kid. He's tap dancing on my last nerve. <laughs> He accidentally I'm drew. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tara. I was doing my homework and all of a sudden a duck appeared. The crayon was in my hand. I don't know what happened. He came out to me with the paper with a big P drawn in highlighter on it and went, in Tara, I accidentally drew all over my homework. <laughs> what the fucking fuck? Accidentally. <laughs> Well, you can write one fucking letter, kid! Jesus! And he can do it. It's not that he can't do it. He just, he doesn't like grammar. It's not a subject he enjoys. So it's like, boy, oh, jeez. It's like, oh my God. Just you have to promise. Us. You have to promise that in 10 years, you're going to show him this episode. No, he'll be so mad at me. <laughs> he blew through his math homework in half an hour. It took us three hours to write two paragraphs. But he can't write. And I'm like beating my head on the table like, oh my god, kill me. So we, we've had uh, repeated ex examples of people who are taking public vehicles that they really shouldn't. They've taken cabs, they've taken ambulances, they've driven around in city bus. We had a child driving around in a city bus. 
Well, we have another contender for that, only this time, this asshole, and, and I want to laugh at him, but he's also an asshole, but this asshole, it's like Springfield man, steals police cruiser, taunts officers over radio as he drives around the city. 27-year-old man who allegedly stole a cruiser after police responded to a domestic disturbance in Pine Point neighborhood early Thursday, taunted officers over the police radio as he drove on city streets. Sergeant John Delaney said the suspect, quote, was playing policeman, and his over-the-air taunts included, quote, you guys are boring, I'm gonna go find crime. Didn't they just make a movie? <laughs> Over the summer? Uh, With the guys from New Girl? <laughs> the incident began around 4 a.m. when Officer Shelley Whitley uh, and Christopher Roberts were sent to a uh, disturbance. The female victim and her boyfriend, Michael Kopeski, removed from her home. And at first, he was cooperative with the officers. The trouble began, however, when Kopeski told the officers he wanted to re-enter the home to get his stuff. Mr. P Kopeski became outraged and started to yell at the officers, calling them all pigs. Kopeski went over to the police cruiser that was in the drive. Nothing, nothing cops love more than being called. I know. Pig. They love that. It's their favorite thing. Try it. Next time you get pulled over, go, hello, Mr. Pig. They're going to love you. They're going to love you. Kopeski went over to the police cruiser that was in the driveway, running with the overhead on, and spit at the police car. He then went over to the cruiser, yanked the driver's side door handle. Those police had engaged the automatic lock. It malfunctioned. Wait. Malfunctioned. Mm. And Kopeski then jumped behind the wheel and began to drive away. Uh, Robert, uh, let's for that. I call that in. Like, how do you <laughs> say to your fellow cops, well, guys, my, uh, uh, my squad car's been stolen. <laughs> You probably don't live that down. <laughs> you never live that down. For 20 minutes, Kopeski taunted police and disrupted radio transmissions as he drove on city streets. Okay. To begin with, you're already... What? What part? When they caught him, he refused to open the cruiser doors. <laughs> and Sergeant Scott Richard was forced to break the passenger window to get inside. Because, yeah, cop cars are made to be not very easy <clears throat> to or out of if they don't want to do. You're already in fucking trouble for the shit with your girlfriend, you asshole. I'm pretty sure I know who was in the right in that situation. It ain't him. It ain't you. you you're wrong, man. You're wrong. To compound that shit by stealing a cop car. Yeah, that's not your getaway car. And then trying to troll the police. Why would you do this? This is like, you know what? The earthquake knocked my house over. I'll set it on fire, too. You know, before... Mm -hmm. This is a guy with some rage issues and poor impulse control. Before, he was already on, like, a disorderly charge. He was probably going to have, you know, a fine. Now, he's doing fun time jail. For realsies. Yeah. He's going to make new friends and find out how good he looks in orange. You'll never pee alone again. Mm-mm. Uh, and f okay, I've led up to this 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 story. Is this the one? This is it's fucking one, right? magical. One. Pay attention. I swear to you, I looked this one up, multiple sources, checked it out. Seems legit, which is amazing because considering this is this is a caper, Tara. This is a full on fucking hijinks shenanigans caper oh, Tom Fuller oh yes oh yes this comes to us from Brazil 
Oh, those Brazilians. Women's <laughs> prisons mass jailbreak. I saw that. After inmates in dominatrix gear handcuff male guards expecting mass orgy. Yeah. 28 inmates escaped from a Brazilian jail after three women in fantasy police costumes seduced police wardens. Police found three wardens naked and handcuffed inside the Nova Mutant public jail. Uh, the women reportedly drugged the prison guards by giving them spiked whiskey after convincing them to take part in an orgy. Inmates then left the prison through the main doors, even taking with them guns and munitions from the prison cache. Police later found a bag of lingerie and dominates, dominatrix uh, police uniforms, believed to have been worn by the temptresses. Last night, photos of one of the naked wardens, believed to have been leaked by amused police officers who found him, been shared thousands of times in social network sites. Three of the women, one of them reportedly the girlfriend and one of the prisoners who escaped, arrived at the prison at 3 a.m., asked to be let inside to, quote, chat and drink. First problem. Yeah. No woman in the middle of the night looking to hang out and hook up. Her first idea is, is let's go hang out at the prison tonight, Cherise. Yeah. We don't got anything going on. Let's, 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 no, 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 forget the club. Forget, you know, the, the mall. Let's go hang out at the prison. Yeah. That's where we... Prison guards reportedly obliged were soon persuaded to leave their posts, accompanying the girls to staff sleeping quarters. After drugging the wardens, the women handcuffed them, took their keys, and unlocked all the prison cells. Um... <laughs> Last night, eight of the 28 prisoners had been recaptured. However, this is the, the breakout gets even better because the prisoners, one inmate was found wandering around the center of Nova Mutum in a drunken state, holding one of the stolen rifles. Another was caught stealing a pickup truck from a farm and crashing it. So these are already not the best criminals ever. Gentlemen. <clears throat> Gentlemen. Oh, okay, Reverend Mal, I love you. The Hugh Hefner redemption. <laughs> I think I saw this porno. That's what about this. That's the problem. Guys, if you see it in a porno, it never happens. Yeah. It never, ever, ever 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 if at some point you're in a situation where you're like oh my god this is just like that porno i saw you're in trouble and the chick is not your significant other who knows that that's your favorite porno yeah no something's gonna go wrong yes if life sp spontaneously you are either not awake yeah or something's about to go horribly wrong if life spontaneously begins to resemble a porno you are in danger yeah. You're, 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 something's wrong. You, you, get out. Tell your dick to shut the fuck up and get out. Run away. You are in danger. Look. The pizza delivery guy never sleeps with anybody on the route. That never happens. Never. He doesn't actually cut a hole through the pizza and no. stick his dick through it. Like, Wait, Come on, we've covered this website, bigsausagepizza.com. Oh, yes. For every, they have like 20 videos that are all exactly the same. <sighs> and just chicks humping guys through a pizza. I don't know why that's hot. Orange is the new 50 shades of gray. Nice. 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 It's a bit of a mouthful as titles go. No yeah. pun intended. But... It, it, you know, prisons, prisons are not sexy places. Prisons are not, no. Sex can happen in prison, but they're not sexy places. You've never been in prison? My mom worked in a prison for a while. Didn't sound like a particularly sexy place. No. But I've never been in a prison. So. We just said, 
you you can't everyone can watch you poop that's not sick someone is going to write on the you've comments. been on the internet i know god damn it god damn it i know i just i these guys women randomly walk up to the prison say they want to have an orgy and your response is okay okay this is a thing that happens sure this never happens this never porn has warped us guys are already kind of stupid <laughs> you gotta know there's no way that's legit <laughs> you really i mean you gotta and I've got to show you the picture. I hate, I, you know what, the, the, this idiot is, look, look at the, some of the gear they showed up in. That's not, no. Yeah. That, that, no, that ain't half, that's the, the trap. I don't even understand how those garments work, to be honest with you. And here, here are the pictures, the, the guys handcuffed and drugged. His buddies had to come in. There's a picture I won't show you with a guy who was handcuffed without pants he had his shirt he didn't have his pants anymore can we talk about this headline on the side no mutant pig with human face and penis on its forehead draws crowds that's not our wheelhouse tara that's someone else's problem i know but i'm intrigued <laughs> we'll let the horror reviewers handle that one okay i will stress however this is not the, this is the mirror which is not always the most reputable site but this came from multiple sites. I checked, I backtracked it. This actually fucking, which is stunning. Do you understand why I stopped and checked that this actually fucking happened? Because it sounds like that porn you saw that time. This sounds like bullshit. This sounds like nobody could be this stupid. Oh my God, they were this stupid. Yeah. This, this, this all, they were, Jesus. Uh, you kind of wonder how they get through their day without just constantly being mugged and honestly, I think the, the prisoners who escaped at the, uh, if I was in the court system, I'd be like, yeah, they deserve it. No, 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 no. We we are too stupid to keep them. They deserve it. Well, no, one of them's a murderer. So okay, well, yeah, you have a good point. Let's not set that precedent where, you know, if you can just figure out the guard's stupid points, you can go home. They took three shotguns, two revolvers, and munition, and just went away. They were dumb, Bridget. I guess the, the, they were not smart humans. The first thing we learned tonight, if porn, if, you, if, if the world around you ever begins to resemble porn... And you didn't plan for that to happen? Yeah, like, think about, have you been drinking and dropping acid a lot? If porn, if a porn-like scenario spontaneously evolves around you, you are in danger. <laughs> Something bad is about to happen. You should run away. Your penis is wrong. You want to go? Okay. Your penis is wrong. Your penis doesn't always have your best interests as heart. No, it does not. I mean, I don't have one, but that's how I understand it. Learned this week that trolling the police will not improve your situation. No. They don't have a sense of humor about that. They shit. do not! It's like saying bomb in the airport, except, you know, you stole their police car! Yeah, not not cool. I'm going to go so, find crime. I'm getting glared at because I had a book in her little curl up. So. We've learned that helicopter parents shouldn't throw bombs or threaten to. Don't do that shit. Maybe teach your kids study. Yeah. And I know it's a pain in the ass. Sometimes they'll draw. Sometimes drawings will appear on their homework. You'll just have to power through it. But you gotta do it. It's gotta power through that shit. We've learned there is never 
a reason. Unless you are a sanitation worker, there's never a reason for you to be in a dumpster. Never. I wouldn't say never. Because again, you might have to run from ninjas and use the garbage to cushion your fall. Like, you might drop your wallet in there. I wouldn't say never, but I wouldn't stay in a dumpster for a prolonged period of time. We just can't make up our mind, can we, Bridget? We've learned that the people running social media for corporations are complete idiots. That's... How does this just keep happening? Like, how have companies not learned by now? I know. Just stop fucking that up. Like, just leave the social media alone. You cannot tame it. You cannot bend it to your will. It's not going to be your advertising monkey. Yeah, you can't control it. It's it is your it is the King Kong. You went off, you brought it back, giant monkey in chains, and then it broke that broke out. And now look what the hell. It's shitting on your fucking corporation. Yeah. It's giant monkey shit. Leave it alone. <laughs> the internet. It's giant <laughs> monkey shit. Leave it alone. <laughs> I think there's our title. That's and, a bit long. And finally we learned this week, yes, we all hate Comcast, but Comcast hates us too. It's a little comforting, actually. Yeah. You know, it, 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 it means they care. Kind of. Well, yeah. Because hate is not actually the opposite of love. Hate is very close to love. Indifference is the opposite of love. So, the, they, so if the name was changed to, like, some dude. No, they are thinking of us. They are. They just don't like us very much. But it's okay, because we don't like them either. And the world keeps on spinning. Humanity marches on. <laughs> oh, spontaneous porno outbreak. That's never a thing that's ever going to fucking happen. It would be kind of cool if it did, though. No, it wouldn't. It would almost certainly happen with exactly the people you wouldn't want it to. Yes, yes, yes. Like, if if you're ever going to experience, like, a spontaneous outbreak of porn, it would be, like, your family reunion. Just because the universe is cruel. What is wrong with you? <laughs> 